crafts, music, drama, dance, literature, history, heritage, and food. Visit the TanasiArts.com for more information and upcoming events, or stop in the Unicoi Information and Visitor Center, 106 Unicoi Village Place in Unicoi, Tennessee. Here's an update from 1420 NBC Sports Radio Tri-Cities. ETSU men's basketball in action tonight as they welcome in Georgia Southern. These two teams used to play a lot when they were both in SoCon. However, Georgia Southern now a member of the Sun Belt Conference. If you're going to the game tonight, wear your favorite tacky holiday sweater. That's what the ETSU Athletic Department is asking you to do. All-time series between these two teams. It is led by Georgia Southern 17-12. They have not played since the 04-05 season. Tennessee men's basketball, they're back in action tomorrow when they travel to West. Wake Forest, the Tennessee women yesterday wrap up the non-conference portion of their season with an impressive win at Stanford, 83-71. They are now 12-0. Jamie Nard, 28 points. Mercedes Russell, 11 points, 10 rebounds. Tennessee opens up conference play at Kentucky on December 31st. With a sports flash on 1420 NBC Sports Radio Tri-Cities, I'm Matt Pauley. Yeah, the medal lead in on Tri-City Sports Now. Got news on what Randy Sanders' contract is going to be, but before we get to that, I want to talk, I got it. this is for all you guys watching on Facebook, okay, on our video screen of all this. I got something to talk about how to decorate the studio and all this. Yes, I'm going to be, I can actually deduct this from the taxes and all this, but I got a picture here that I think I want to share with you and uh, take a look at this, okay, right there on Facebook Live. If you're listening on the radio, just like us. We're now at 500 likes on 1420 NBC Sports Radio Tri-Cities. So why don't you like us as well? And then you can watch the show if you miss some of it. You can see the segments, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, Ken Pomeroy talking college basketball. David Finoli talking about how far we've come as a society. As Tennessee once refused to play Chuck Cooper, the first black man drafted by the NBA. And now look at him. I mean, where would Tennessee be now without a Josh Dobbs, uh, a Ty Chandler? Where would they be without a Quanzo Martin, for crying out loud? Uh, but look at this picture. You can see this. This, to me, really, first of all, it's the great Julius Irving dunking the basketball from his ABA days. By the way, I'm a little boy. Julius Irving was probably the first pro athlete I ever learned who he was. Either that, O.J. Simpson was probably the first football player, and uh, Julius Irving was the first basketball player I ever learned who they were. I think that would be a pretty uh, accurate statement. Now, you see this, but if you take a look at this picture, who's he dunking over? This is what makes this picture so great. It's Skeeter Swift! He's dunking over Skeeter Swift. It was like, get me out of here. The other thing is it is Julius Irving in his Virginia Squires uniform from the old ABA days. And a Virginia Squires, which played all over Virginia, including for a season Roanoke, which is in our region. So I really like, the, I think this has a tremendous local interest, this photo. Uh, we will be putting it up here in the studio. All things uh, go right on Tri-City Sports now. I really, I love this photo right here. That's Skeeter Swift right there. He's right there at Skeeter. There's Julia serving Squires. Try to figure out what arena that was. I mean, could that have been Roanoke? I don't know. I, I If it is, then we're really got something of a local nature right there. But yeah, for those who don't know Skeeter Swift, we gave him his last interview here on Tri-City Sports Now. It's a local product. Uh, so anyhow, uh, wanted to talk and break down the ETSU Georgia Southern game. And I just, uh, but before we get to that, there is this, Randy Sanders will make $255,000 annually plus incentives. This is something of a step down from him before. This is one of the reasons I was, when I initially heard the name, I was like, is he really going to come to ETSU? Can ETSU afford him? Because he was making $602,000 a year as the offensive coordinator at Florida State. Anyway, the guaranteed money is that quarter mil plus 5000 Technically, they say that's $10,000 less than Carl Torbush. However, 
The contract also includes either a car from a donor or a $9,000 stipend and membership to an area country club. Interesting. It's a four-year deal. So I am told by Scott Carter that every year they will reassess and then discuss a extension. I believe that every year, I, I believe a football coach always needs four years on his contract to really be an effective recruiter. And I think one of the reasons why uh, ETSU football has struggled, frankly, is that you've got a coach who's trying to recruit four-year players and he doesn't have four years on his contract and he's in his mid-60s. Then you're saying, I'm not going to be around here that long. There's a big unknown. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about Georgia Southern. ETSU, maybe the deepest team in the Sun Belt. Georgia Southern is ranked 87th by our last guest, Ken Pomeroy, which is better than any team in a SOCON. 3-2 uh, and two on the road, 9-3 and three overall. They did defeat in the first game, as Ken Pomeroy alluded to, the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Uh, they also have a 23-point victory at George Mason, but this is not the George Mason of the Final Four. They're 5-7. and seven. Uh, They beat Savannah State by 11 at home. That almost might be a disappointment. Savannah State always stinks. ETSU beat uh, Savannah State by 15, however, so 11-point victory for Georgia Southern, Savannah State 15. Uh, anyway... Great guards for the Georgia Southern Eagles. We've got a point guard. He's a junior by the name of Tukey Brown. Now, this I don't like about Tukey. He averages 17 points a game. You know me, the point guard. I still like the traditional point guard. I, I want him shooting when it's a last resort. Job as a point guard, you're the quarterback. You throw the ball. Your job is to make all the other players look good. That's why I couldn't stand Tim Smith. It's always a ball hog, and it cost him two NCAA tournament games at the end. Also, Ike Smith, he averages 13 points. And Jake Allmiller, Allsmiller, excuse me, he's their senior. He's 6'5". He averages 13 points as well. In fact, all the guards that Georgia Southern have that figure to play any significant point, they're all averaging double digits. So this is a team that will play the, th that uh, shoots the three a lot. Look for the substitutions of Steve Forbes. To, obviously, they're always going to make a major impact, but maybe even more in this game because you got to play against a three-point shooting team, man, and that wears you out just a little bit more. But now ETSU can counter with death. Uh, so anyway, now their three-point shooting, I will tell you, is only at 33%. So there is a chance, I mean, the game's in Johnson City. Yes, as I always say, I think the Eagles can handle you yelling at them. If they can't, then something is wrong. But uh, they also do something that, uh, well, the other interesting angle here is that what has Steve Forbes said on this show time and time and time again ETSU has a cut down on turnovers. That's how ETSU was beaten by so many points against Northern Kentucky in the first game of the year. They turned the ball over 20 times. But since then, they've reduced turnovers to less than 10 a game. Georgia Southern has been getting a lot of steals this year. So, is it going to be the ETSU undisciplined at the beginning of the year or the disciplined ETSU that we've seen now? ETSU can win this game, and if they do, you know, sky's the limit for the team, I think. You know, might be, you know, I, but I, I really am intrigued by this depth. Even those great mystery teams did not have this kind of depth. And Bradford putting 21 points up on the board in the last game against Detroit also shows me, DeSanto Bradford, that shows me uh, is the one returning starter, so there is still the rock of Gibraltar, if you will, on the roster. Anyway, that's the uh, breakdown of Georgia Southern that comes. They will be coming in uh, after this next game. Will be against Tusculum, 27th, a real local battle. I'm kind of looking forward to that. I love it 
when an ETSU plays a Tusculum or a Milligan, which I don't believe they've done in a while, or you know, UVA-wise, one of the local teams like that. It's a tune-up game, but why not give that tune-up game against a local opponent? Santa's helpers here at Bowman Jewelers are eagerly waiting to assist you. Santa can't go wrong with a beautiful piece of colored diamond jewelry, the kind holiday dreams are made of. At Bowman Jewelers, you're sure to find that one-of-a-kind piece of jewelry made of silver or gold.